Hey, welcome to a new video. On an apparently ordinary day around 66 million years ago, the dinosaurs went about their daily lives, unaware of their impending doom. Suddenly, a flash of light appeared on the horizon, rapidly growing larger as a colossal asteroid hurtled toward Earth. Just a few minutes later, the impact caused an explosion of unprecedented force, shaking the landscape and triggering a chain of events. These are the first moments after the dinosaurs became extinct. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. Number 20. Traveling at a speed of about 12 to 19 miles per second, an asteroid flew towards Earth. Even the strongest, largest, and fiercest dinosaur couldn't survive this impact. It was widely believed that the extinction of the dinosaurs was caused by an asteroid impact that occurred around 66 million years ago. This event is known as Cretaceous Paleogene Extinction. It likely took place near what is now the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, leaving behind a crater. The asteroid that struck Earth is estimated to have been about 6 miles wide and released an enormous amount of energy, equivalent to billions of atomic bombs from World War II. If this impact had occurred elsewhere on the planet or at a slightly different time, the outcome could have been different. For instance, if the asteroid had fallen a few minutes later, it would have landed in deep water, causing less rocks to vaporize and block sunlight and heat. This could have potentially reduced the chance of a mass extinction. But that didn't happen, and the situation deteriorated dramatically. Number 19. After the high-speed impact with Earth, the asteroid vaporized, causing an enormous shock wave and heat wave that devastated the immediate area. Massive amounts of material were injected into the atmosphere, including soot that traveled around the world. The impact generated such intense heat that it temporarily boiled Earth's atmosphere. The impact also threw enormous amounts of debris, dust, and sulfur into the atmosphere. This material blocked sunlight, leading to a dramatic drop in global temperatures, a phenomenon often referred to as an impact winter. The boiling atmosphere almost completely blocked out the sun, allowing even less light to reach the Earth's surface. This impact released massive amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. This, along with the widespread wildfires that ensued, led to rapid global warming. Temperatures rose by about 5 degrees, and the Earth remained exceptionally hot for approximately 100,000 years. Number 18. After the asteroid impact that killed the dinosaurs, powerful seismic waves known as shock waves spread out from the impact point. Shock waves are a type of disturbance that travels faster than the local speed of sound in the medium. They are characterized by an abrupt, nearly discontinuous change in pressure, temperature, and density. The asteroid impact created a massive shock wave that traveled through the Earth's crust, causing widespread destruction in the immediate vicinity of the impact site. It's important to note that shock waves are different from sound waves. While sound waves also propagate through a medium, shock waves are marked by their abrupt changes. Shock waves also carry a significant amount of energy and can cause severe damage to the environment. These shock waves would have led to intense earthquakes, landslides, and tsunamis. The seismic activity from the shock waves contributed to the destruction and mass extinction that wiped out the dinosaurs and many other species. Number 17. Following the impact, a gigantic tsunami ensued, with waves several miles or kilometers high in the Gulf of Mexico. These waves traveled halfway around the world, reaching the North Atlantic Ocean and the South Pacific Ocean. The asteroid impact created a curtain of ejected material that pushed a wall of water outward from the impact point. This formed a 2.8 mile high wave that diminished as the ejected material fell back to Earth. Ten minutes after the impact, a massive tsunami began raging across the ocean in all directions, reaching distances of 137 miles from the impact point, leaving geological traces as far away as New Zealand. The waves were so powerful that they disrupted and eroded sediments in distant ocean basins, leading to gaps in the sedimentary records or jumble of older sediments. This tsunami carried 30,000 times more initial energy than any other recorded event. The amplitude could still be tracked 48 hours after the impact. As a result, 75% of plant and animal species, including all non-avian dinosaurs, did not survive that day. Number 16. The asteroid impact caused the ejection of a significant amount of material into the atmosphere, known as ejecta and debris. The devastating shock wave and heat wave threw enormous amounts of material into the atmosphere. This ejected material consisted of soot, fine dust particles, and heavier debris, posing a danger as it could injure surviving creatures, reducing the amount of sunlight reaching the Earth's surface. Fine silicon dust and other particles in the atmosphere caused an impact winter that lasted about 15 years. This impact winter was characterized by reduced sunlight and lower global temperatures. The dust particles blocked sunlight and lingered in the atmosphere, contributing to the cooling effect. Imagine looking up and seeing darkness instead of the sun. How terrifying would that be? Number 15. 
If the atmosphere was described as boiling, how hellish must the Earth have become? In a short time, there were not just wildfires spreading, but firestorms. The asteroid impact released an enormous amount of energy, generating intense heat. This heat was sufficient to ignite vegetation in the immediate vicinity of the impact point. The explosion equivalent to billions of atomic bombs produced temperatures that could vaporize rocks and ignite organic material. We also know that a massive amount of debris was ejected into the already boiling atmosphere, including molten rock and ash. As this material re-entered the atmosphere, it caused friction and heated up transforming into small glowing particles. These particles rained down across the planet, creating a global blanket of radiant heat that could ignite plant material and dry forests, leading to widespread fires. Evidence suggests that these fires were not limited to the area around the impact point, but occurred on a global scale. Charcoal deposits and soot layers found in geological records worldwide indicate widespread burning. The fires would have devastated vast areas of forest to grassland and other vegetation, destroying entire ecosystems. The destruction of vegetation led to habitat loss for many species, contributing to the mass extinction. Smoke and particles from the fires further blocked sunlight, exacerbating the impact winter and extending the period of darkness and cold. The release of large amounts of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases from the burning biomass would have initially contributed to global warming. Number 14. As if someone had turned off the lights, the Earth was shrouded in pitch black darkness. This darkening had severe consequences for life on Earth. Plants that relied on photosynthesis couldn't survive under the reduced sunlight, leading to a cascade of extinctions through the food chain. The darkness also caused widespread acid rain, further disrupting ecosystems. These soot particles from raging wildfires filled the air, blocking out the sun for an extended period. But how long did this darkness last? Approximately two years, during which sunlight was virtually absent. Computer simulations and research have shown that the soot particles were lofted high into the atmosphere by the impact creating a global barrier that blocked most sunlight. Initially, the darkness would have been comparable to a night illuminated by the moon. Number 13. The asteroid impact caused immediate death to many species through the impact and heat. The event is considered one of the most dramatic and all-encompassing extinctions in history. Species in the immediate vicinity of the impact site were instantly obliterated. This included all terrestrial and marine life in that region. The intense heat and shock waves from the impact caused immediate fatalities over a vast area. This applied to creatures on land, in the air, and in the water. One of the last and most famous large theropod dinosaurs, the T-Rex, would have faced direct threats from the impact. The Triceratops, a common herbivorous dinosaur in North America, likely perished quickly due to the fires and rapid environmental changes. Large marine reptiles like the Mosasaurus were wiped out by the tsunamis caused by the impact and the subsequent collapse of marine ecosystems. The same fate befell the Plesiosaurus and Ammonites, among others. Microscopic marine plankton experienced a near instantaneous death, creating a cascade effect on marine food chains, leading to the extinction of 75% of all living creatures. Number 12. If the Earth was a hell at that moment, then hellfire descended in the form of acid rain. Acid rain is a form of precipitation that contains high levels of nitric and sulfur gases. It can occur as rain, snow, fog, hail, or even acidic dust. Normal rain has a pH value of 5.6, while acid rain typically has a pH value between 4.2 and 4.4. Forests, lakes, and various ecosystems could be affected by this. If they didn't melt, acid rain could leach minerals and nutrients from the soil and acidify water bodies. Scientists believe that the asteroid impact that created the initial crater in the Gulf of Mexico released sulfur trioxide, which combined with water in the atmosphere to form sulfuric acid aerosols. These aerosols likely caused acid rain within days, making the ocean surface too acidic for upper ocean organisms to even survive. The acid rain resulting from the impact may have contributed to the extinction of many species, including land dinosaurs. It's also believed that the acid rain acidified the oceans, dissolving the calcareous skeletons of many plants and fish. Number 10. Following the asteroid impact, a series of earthquakes, tremors, and aftershocks occurred, lasting for weeks to months. The seismic energy released by the impact was estimated to be 50,000 times greater than the energy released by the devastating 2004 Sumatra earthquake. The entire planet literally shook, with the magnitude of the earthquakes estimated to be between 9 and 11. This means the impact would have been felt worldwide and would have triggered more earthquakes and volcanic activity. After the initial impact, there were likely countless aftershocks, which are lower strength quakes that occur after the main shock. The immense energy released by the impact sent shockwaves through the Earth's crust, causing the ground to shake violently and rocks to break over great distances. This would have also caused extensive fault lines and fractures in the crust, observable in geological formations. 
And to keep track of the timeline, we must remember what happens after an earthquake. Number 9. What goes up must come down, and you have a bomb the size of 100 TNT that just exploded. The force of the impact vaporized a large amount of material that was flung into the atmosphere. Soot traveled around the world and literally covered a vast portion of the sun, plunging the planet into darkness for years. The particles were dispersed globally by the atmospheric currents, creating a layer of ash and soot that eventually settled back to Earth. This settling process covered vast areas, including land and ocean surfaces. The layer of ash and soot that settled forms a distinct geological marker known as the KPG boundary. This layer is rich in iridium, a metal more common in asteroids than in Earth's crust. The soot and ash from the impact and resulting fires created an impact winter, during which no sunlight reached the surface for about a year. The dense clouds of ash and particles spewed into the atmosphere shrouded parts of the Earth in darkness that could last up to two years. This darkness, combined with other environmental changes caused by the impact, contributed to the wave of extinctions that followed. Number 8. The asteroid impact released massive amounts of dust, sulfur, and carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, with global consequences. The dust and sulfur formed a cloud that reflected sunlight, causing Earth's temperature to drop dramatically. The darkness and cold persisted for several years, affecting the temperature of both land and oceans. Ocean temperatures dropped by an average of 2 degrees, with some areas experiencing drops of up to 7 degrees. The average surface air temperature on Earth could have dropped by as much as 80 degrees Fahrenheit. This temperature decline and global cooling had a profound impact on life on Earth. Plants died and death spread through the food web. The dinosaurs, accustomed to a lush climate, were particularly affected by the sudden and drastic temperature drop. With a combination of reduced sunlight, disrupted ecosystems, and other environmental changes, approximately 75% of all plant and animal species, including the dinosaurs, went extinct. Number 7. The world's oceans did not escape the enormous consequences of the impact. Following the asteroid collision with Earth, a vast amount of debris was hurled into the atmosphere. This debris, consisting of pulverized rocks and other materials, rained down on the planet. The debris likely contained sulfur-rich rocks, which played a crucial role in forming acid rain. The impact released sulfur trioxide into the atmosphere, which quickly combined with water to form sulfuric acid aerosols. These aerosols attached to the pulverized silicate debris, removing sulfuric acid from the atmosphere within days. The resulting acid rain was highly acidic and had a detrimental impact on water sources. Acid rain contaminated the oceans, making them too acidic for many surface-dwelling organisms to survive. The acidification of the oceans also disrupted the food chain, leading to a mass extinction of marine species. The effects of the impact, including water pollution, persisted for a long time. Acid rain and the resulting changes in pH levels encouraged the leaching of unwanted chemicals into water sources for generations. Number 6. Many of the major animal groups we know today existed before the asteroid impact. Although they all experienced some level of extinction, some lineages managed to survive and eventually evolved into the species we see now. Birds, for example, are descendants of dinosaurs that managed to survive the mass extinction. Some bird species went extinct, but the lineages that led to modern birds persisted. Crocodiles, small mammals, and even some hardy plants also survived the impact. The survival of these species can be attributed to various factors, including their ability to adapt to changing environments and their ecological niches. Some species found refuge in specific habitats that were less affected by the direct consequences of the impact. Crocodiles, for instance, lived primarily in rivers, lakes, and coastal areas, which were less impacted by the loss of vegetation. Birds, as descendants of dinosaurs, also had certain advantages that contributed to their survival. Their ability to fly allowed them to find food in remote locations, and their beaks enabled them to eat buried seeds and dead plants. Feathers also provided insulation against the cold, which was crucial in the period following the impact. Over time, the surviving species diversified and evolved to fill the ecological niches left behind extinct species. Over time, the surviving species diversified and even evolved to fill the ecological niches left by the extinct species. Mammals, in particular, emerged and eventually dominated the land, leading to various lineages, including your own. Number 5. The impact caused massive wildfires that engulfed forests in South America and other regions. These fires likely burned for several years, contributing to the destruction of vegetation and habitats. The fires not only destroyed vegetation, but also essential habitats and food sources for animals, potentially leading to the collapse of certain food chains. The soot from the fires was carried by the wind around the world and settled on the ground accumulating on top of the debris ejected from the crater. Many plant species, especially those in densely forested areas, can survive the fires, as well as the subsequent environmental changes. 
Herbivores dinosaurs, such as the Triceratops, were directly threatened by the loss of vegetation, leading to rapid declines in their population. It took about 6 million years for forests to recover to their pre-impact diversity levels, and the species that slowly returned were entirely different from those that existed before the impact. Number 4 The thermal electromagnetic radiation from the asteroid impact can be compared to the immediate effects of nuclear explosions, but on a much larger scale. This impact released a vast amount of energy in an instant, causing intense thermal radiation. The thermal radiation was sufficient to ignite vegetation and cause widespread fires. As previously discussed, the impact may also have generated a powerful electromagnetic pulse, due to the sudden release of energy and ionization in the atmosphere. This EMP could have caused a short-term disruption of Earth's magnetic field and atmosphere, but the long-term effects would have been minimal compared to the other catastrophic consequences. Following this, there was a burst of high-energy X-rays and gamma rays. These could ionize the atmosphere and cause a secondary cascade of radiation, possibly contributing to the initial destruction around the impact site. Subsequently, the fires released large amounts of nitrogen oxides, which can destroy ozone. A reduction in the ozone layer would increase the long-term UV radiation exposure at the Earth's surface, affecting surviving species. The impact released an enormous amount of energy, making it one of the most powerful events in Earth's history. It caused intense heat, creating superheated winds that radiated from the impact site, destroying the vegetation and killing animals. It's estimated that these winds extended to up to 1,120 miles from the impact site. Number 3 if the sun was blocked for years, what happened to photosynthesis? The answer's simple, it stopped. The fallout from the dust, along with the fine silica dust, contributed to an intense impact winter. Moreover, the impact vaporized a large amount of combustible hydrocarbons and sulfurs, injecting sulfuric acid aerosols into the stratosphere, which further reduced the sunlight reaching the Earth's surface by more than 50%. Plants, especially those dependent on consistent sunlight, cannot effectively perform photosynthesis. This led to a massive die-off of plants, particularly those in the upper layers of forests and grasslands. Plants are primarily producers in the food chain, converting sunlight into energy through photosynthesis. The collapse of plant life meant the primary energy source for many ecosystems was severely diminished. Herbivorous animals, such as many dinosaurs, were directly dependent on these plants for food. The sudden loss of vegetation led to food shortages and mass starvation among herbivores. Carnivorous animals that preyed on herbivores were also affected as their food sources were also dwindled. This led to a domino effect through the food chain, resulting in widespread extinctions at all levels. Even phytoplankton, the base of the marine food web, relied on sunlight for photosynthesis. Number 2 Climate changes refer to long-term shifts in weather patterns and average temperatures on Earth. These changes can occur naturally over thousands or millions of years, or due to an asteroid that destroyed, burned, and starved the planet. According to the asteroid impact theory, a large asteroid or comet collided with Earth, leading to widespread devastation. The impact released an enormous amount of energy, resulting in gigantic shockwaves, wildfires, and a global dust cloud that blocked the sun. This led to a significant drop in temperatures and disrupted the global climate. On the other hand, the volcanic eruption theory suggests that massive volcanic eruptions, particularly the Deccan Traps eruptions in present-day India, played a role in the extinction event. These eruptions released large amounts of volcanic gases and ash into the atmosphere, leading to climate change and environmental problems. The combination of volcanic activity and the asteroid impact may have contributed to the rapid and severe climate changes that ultimately led to the extinction of the dinosaurs. Number 1 The asteroid impact had direct effects, causing widespread destruction in the immediate vicinity, leading to the instant death of many organisms. The impact also resulted in secondary effects that affected a larger area. Animals in the open air might have died directly from hours of intense heat. The asteroid impact hurled an enormous amount of dust and debris into the atmosphere, blocking sunlight, and as a result, many animals perished. The extinction event caused by the asteroid impact led to the loss of many species, including non-avian dinosaurs. Besides dinosaurs, many mammals, birds, lizards, insects, plants, and many other species went extinct. Although the immediate aftermath of the impact was quite devastating, life on Earth proved to be resilient. The extinction event created opportunities for new species to emerge and diversify. Would you have wanted to live alongside the dinosaurs? Let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we've made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.